Hello and welcome to this Sensible's Option Learning series where we are learning options in depth. After watching this series, you will be able to see options like professional see it. So, let's continue our journey of exploring options. In the previous episode, we have learned the concept of intrinsic value and time value. In this episode, we are going to learn the effect of time on the option prices. So, let's begin. On December 17th, 2021, when Nifty was at 17,000, imagine a friendly conversation between you and me. You come to me and ask, can you sell me Nifty current weekly expiry December 23rd call option of strike 18,000? I do some mental math and decide that there is a very low chance of Nifty going up 1000 points in 6 days. And I say, sure, you can buy it from me for 10 rupees. Then you say, that's great, 10 rupees sounds good. Can you give me December 2022, that is next year option at 10 rupees? This will obviously make me very angry. Why? In 5 days, Nifty going up 1000 points is a rare chance. But in 1 year, anything can happen. In other words, if you take options with enough days left to expiry, there are many possibilities of option buyer making money and the seller losing money. So to cover his potential losses, a seller must charge a lot more for long term options compared to short term options. This leads us to our first piece of wisdom. Wisdom number one, short term options are cheap, long term options are expensive. You can see this snapshot of option prices till the next year December. Look at the price of nifty options from weekly to one year. You can see a clear trend here. Now let's understand how option value changes with time. Situation number one. SBI is trading at 495. Expiry is three days away. SBI is just five rupees away from 500. You expect it to cross and go beyond 500 rupees before expiry. You buy a SBI 500 call option from me. I charge you 10 rupees for this option. You now hold a 500 call with 3 days left to expiry. Now one day passes. SBI is still at 495. You now hold a 500 call option with 2 days left to expiry. An SBI 500 call with 3 days left to expiry was worth 10 rupees. So an SBI call with 2 days left to expiry will be worth less. The option price falls from 10 rupees to 8 rupees. Why does this happen? Because long term options are more expensive than short term options. Another way to look at it is that now you have less time and therefore less hope to reach 500. Option trader call this fall in value by 2 rupees as theta, theta decay or time value decay. One more day passes. SBI is still at 495. You now hold a 500 call option with one day to expiry. An SBI call with three days left to expiry was worth 10 rupees and with two days it was worth 8 rupees. So an SBI call with one day to expiry will be worth even less. Your hope decreases. Option price falls to 5 rupees. Day 3 comes. It is 2.30 pm. SBI is still at 495. You now hold a 500 call option with 1 hour to expiry. There is not much hope left. An SBI call with 1 day to expiry is worth 5 rupees. So an SBI call with 1 hour left to expiry will be worth very less. Something like 1 rupee. What did we learn? Wisdom number 2. As time goes by, especially towards the end of expiry, option prices fall rapidly with time. Situation number 2. Now let's look at a longer term situation. SBI is trading at 495. You buy an SBI 500 call option, one year contract with 365 days left to expiry from me. I charge you 100 rupees for this option. You now hold a 500 call with 365 days to expiry. 
the next day sbi is still at 495 but you won't worry much why because it is just one day and there are 364 more days to go what difference does one day make in 365 days so the price drops only a tiny bit 100 to 99.9 the next day sbi is still at 495 but again you won't worry much why because there are 363 days more to go what difference does two days make so the price drops only a tiny bit to 99.8 the option price will not drop much in the initial days because it is one day from the many days left but in the previous situation when there were 3 days left each day was significant wisdom number 3 option value does not decrease much with time if there are many days left to expiry let's summarize all the wisdom points we have learned till now number 1 short term options close to expiry are very cheap but they are also very likely to lose money because there is no time left number 2 as time goes by especially towards the end of expiry option price falls rapidly with time number 3 option value does not decrease much with time if there are many days left to expiry number 4 options do not lose value linearly or uniformly they lose less value each day initially because no one cares if there are 100 days left to expiry the loss in value is high towards the end people panic when time runs out let's see the key takeaways we have learned in this episode number 1 option buying towards expiry can result in loss from rapid time value decay number 2 buying a short term options is trying to time the market and it is difficult but if you get the timing right you can make a killing on a cheap options though number 3 if you are sure of a big move but not sure of timing it is very tempting to buy a long term option but this is often a beginner's mistake because little drops of time value make an ocean try to enter big moves only when you see the momentum coming in your direction now let's look at the summary of everything we have learned so far if the stock price goes up the call option price will go up and the put option price will go down if the strike price goes up the call option price will go down and the put option price will go up if there is more time in expiry the call option and the put option will have the higher value as time goes by the call option and the put option both will lose money the more the intrinsic value the more will be the call and put option prices that's it for this episode in the next episode we will learn about volatility how volatility affects the option prices till then we wish you safe and happy trading with sensible bye bye